she was saying that she saw me from afar and she said I was talking to myself then I told her that it seems I mean I'm sorry if it feels weird then she said not weird at all I do it all the time are you going home that's right you heading home too so she also eavesdropped on me <laughs> saying that I'm going out to get some tea uh, I somehow I bump into her every single time all right you're heading home too I'm sure I sure am. Mom misses me. She wants her daughter back. She laughs. Come on, let me walk you home. Before I can answer, she grabs my arm. And we head down the street. The sun has already set by the time we got to my neighbor's hood. Mizuho and I are having so much fun talking to each other. I have to re remember her name because I keep forgetting. Okay, Mizuho, okay? So, aside from clubs, what else do you like doing in your spare time? My answer is always the same. Video games, manga, visual novels, like what I'm doing right now. <laughs> Funny, you know. Yep, normal stuff. Normal stuff, eh? Hey, don't give me that look. I understand you always say that you are a homeboy. A homebody. A homeboy. I, I prefer a homeboy, okay? Not homebody, alright? Or maybe I used to be a homebody. I'm not so sure anymore. Is that a good... Is that good or bad, actually? How should I answer? I'm happy that you are not a homebody anymore. I miss just chilling at home. Yep, I'm just going to go for the second one. I love attending clubs, but there are days where I miss heading straight home. I know that's not what you want to hear. No need to apologize. You are just being honest. Besides, you are not alone. Sometimes I want to stop practicing and just take a nap. But then, I imagine what would happen if I slack off. If I stop working towards my dreams, I won't be able to buy a house for my mom. Actually, this, this her conversation, right? This one, it's pretty deep. It resonates with me. Um, working hard to achieve your dreams. It's like everyone's. <laughs> how how should I put this towards? Everyone wants to achieve their dream by working hard, but only a few percentage of the people manage to achieve their dreams because of the attitude of never give up. You know. So guys, if you're watching this and you feel like you're giving up on something, you're going to give up on something, do not give up. Just keep continue pushing forward. And one day you will succeed, alright? Let's continue. You know, I really admire how hard you work. Yep, and you don't worry. And don't wor you worry about me. I may feel like stacking off sometimes, but I won't. I will make the most out of our time. You won't be disappointed. I'm rooting for you, senpai. A gust of wind blows. It feels like a needle on my skin. My first instinct is to pull my jacket tight around me. Bruh, it's cold. I realize that Mizuho isn't wearing a jacket. Here, take my jacket. Oh no, thank you. There's no need. She hugs herself, the wind blowing her hair. I see her shivering. Right? Suddenly, she approached me and the rest, and then rests her forehead on my shoulder. Okay? Mizu san are you okay? Yeah, I'm just tired, that's all. She breathes deeply. My heart races. Well, it's time for you to go home, you know. The wind blows once more. Mizuho trembles against the unforgiving cold. I'm sorry, no jacket for you. <laughs> what should I do? Do nothing. <laughs> ah, maybe she just needs to go home. If I give her my jacket, she might feel obligated to stick around. Are we ready to go, Mizuho-san? Mizuho lifts her forehead from my shoulder. She smiles and not then not. Yep, ready, let's go. My house is just over there. I offer my hand. Mizo stares at it for a few seconds. Finally she takes it. Hands cold yet soft. Alright, alright. The blushing I saw it, okay? I wouldn't mind if this becomes a regular thing. Mizo san and me walking hands to hand hands in hands. Together we head towards my house. And I think that's it, is it? Here we go. You have a beautiful home. For a few seconds, Mizo gazes at my house. Her eyes gleams with determination. Yep, she's thinking about her mom again. Mizuho-san, I want you to succeed in everything you do. I guess this is good by mom's probably home, made me dinner. Are you going to be alright by yourself? For sure. Just so you know, I'm not scared of anything. Mizuho puts her hand on her lips and stands tall. What should I say? Yep. You're not scared of anything, then I believe in you. Alright? Then again, who am I to say you are wrong? You're the one who truly knows yourself. Even my mom thinks I'm lying when I tell her. Maybe she expects a girl like me to get scared of bugs or something. 
if you're really not afraid of anything, then you are the bravest girl I know, right? And you don't ever forget that. I mean, don't you ever forget that, okay? Grinding, she reached out, she reached out and ruffles my hair. See you later, senpai. As she turns around, I catch a glimpse of worry on her face. It then occurs to me that I must have hit a sore spot. I must have reminded her of something she is scared of. But what is it? I can't imagine her staying up at night, worrying about something. But it's too late to ask for now. Yep, that's the end. Is it? Oh, a week goes by. It's lunchtime. And I, oh god, I accidentally skipped the, the panel. Okay. As I walked down the corridor, I heard a familiar voice. Come on, why won't you answer me? I hear another familiar voice. Please, Ikebe, this isn't the time. My heart races as I heart around the corner. Okay, what is going on? It frightens me, like, really. Trying not to make any noise, I peek into the hallway. What do you mean this isn't the time? It's always the right time. No, leave me alone. It's Ikebe, he's spinning Kyoka against the wall. What are they talking about? And why does Kyoka look so uneasy? 